Hi friends! Today is the day that we're going to talk about this beautiful new box set that I got from Susan Dennard. I decided that I would unbox my box set for you, express my absolute gratitude for Suze and all of the amazing things that she does for us as readers and as writers and um, just like a love letter to Suze because I greatly, greatly appreciate her right now. The Witchline series follows a girl by the name of Safia who has the power of a truth witch. It is a highly sought out power. Um, some people choose to use that power for themselves because Safia is able to tell when someone is telling the truth or telling a lie. So some people in power want to seek that out so they can use the power and other people want to seek it out so that they can kill her so that no one else can use that power against them. So the book starts out with Safia and her best friend is and they basically are trying to figure out how to keep people from finding out that Safi has this power and to keep her safe. Is is of a minority and a group of people that are very looked down upon in this world that they live in. The world is under a very shaky truce that's about to end and it has had a lot of war and a lot of um, things that are not the greatest going on and the series as a whole at this point has just been a lot of fun, a lot of adventure. There's great friendships, great strong characters from the kings and queens of countries who are just amazing stand-up strong people who are all about their country. Um, for example, Merrick who is just New Brevenant to the core and loves his people and wants to do the absolute best by them and tries to do everything he can to try to help his impoverished people and just it's just so wonderful so rich and Seuss's amazing ability to weave these plot lines into things that you never would have thought like there are things that I thought was so insignificant in the first book and then you get to the third book and it becomes this huge plot thread and you're like wow like how did she have the force thought to just do that and like as someone who writes it's just it's amazing how much she puts into it and like I could never hope to dream to write a book like that I am just not that well thought out I love the way that she writes and I love that she but Susan's is definitely one of the few that is very open and honest about about writing in general and what being an author is and what it's like and what to expect. She has a lot of resources and information on her website and just she has a lot to help the writing community as a whole as well as all the things that she does for the reading community by these amazing books. So if you haven't checked them out definitely do. So the first thing that I noticed taking these out of the box is that the front and the back are the same and they're actually the cover from Wind Witch, which is the second book in the series. Now typically with a box set, the cover on the front will be the first book in the series, and this one was not, which was interesting, but an amazing choice because I think the Wind Witch cover actually might be my new favorite. I love Blood Witch, but I think Wind Witch might be my new favorite. I just, I love the cover so much. And it also has the quotes from the books that you'll see on the covers from Victoria Aveyard and Jacqueline Carey and Alexander Bracken and Robin Hobb. I I'm not typically a person who keeps the boxes of a box set and I haven't completely decided if I'm going to keep this one yet or not but I may just because I really love this cover. So I'm going to open it up with you now. I haven't pulled them out yet so I'm very excited to pull these out and to see what they look like and uh, I do, I can tell already, I'm gonna pull Blood Witch out first because Blood Witch is the one that I have already seen because um, it's, you know, I've seen it in person because that's the cover that we have. I might actually grab one of my other covers. Let me grab one of my other covers so we can compare. This is excessive. So when I say let me grab one of my other Blood Witch covers, I mean I have this one and I have this one, which are the same, and I have this one, which is the UK edition, and now I have this one. It's excessive, I understand. Like, it's real excessive, but necessary in many ways. I'm not going to discuss the differences between the new cover and the UK cover because the UK cover is completely different on the side. Also, I love the UK covers though. If you haven't um, checked out the UK editions, the cover editions on these UK editions are gorgeous. The spine art is amazing, which personally, I think that people who design book covers should pay more attention to the spine because most people display their books spine out and spines can be pretty blah. And it's like, give me a gorgeous spine. That's what everybody's going to see anyway. That's what I'm looking at. And those of us who are collectors, like 
we have a lot of books and our spines are what's showing so give me a pretty spine so i'm gonna hold up two of these so this side is the new cover edition and this side is the previous cover edition so the new cover edition has the emblem which is a void witch which is uh the blood witches part of the witchery whereas the older cover edition has this little photo of the cover piece the name is very similar um the coloring is similar it is uh, the same font all that is the same so that's cool you know I just noticed as I'm looking at these are these different printings I'm sorry like I just noticed that uh so you're probably not going to be able to see this but I'm going to show you the best that I can so if you look at this edition of blood witch this is the old cover edition of one of the two that I have if you look at this blood witch you can see that like the silver is like an outline on this one it's off just a little bit and it looks more like a shadow font versus being an outline but you can definitely tell that it's not on one side it's just off just a smidge that's so weird I've never noticed that I was I thought I had the UK edition in my hand for some reason and I don't like they're I thought that they were that was new but it's not that's just my editions are wonky they're both first editions I don't understand that's that's real weird everything else on the front of these is the same so this is the same book just with a different dust jacket because it's a first edition also so I have three first editions it's not excessive at all the difference is that this one is signed and personalized to me from Suze so like first a huge thank you to Suze for taking the time to sign these. If you're interested in a signed copy you can get them from Schuler Books. Suze has all that information on her Instagram page on how you can order from Schuler Books and get a signed copy. I really appreciate Suze taking the time to sign these and personalize these. I know that life has not been the best for her lately so I again Suze appreciation post basically. I, I really do appreciate her taking the time to do these things when life is not at its best. So that was just a difference in between the Blood Witch titles um, because the cover is the same so now you know what the difference is on those. Um, so now I'm gonna pull Truth Witch first and then Wind Witch. So again, Aether Witch symbol and this cover. Look at that baby. So what I will say about this cover is that it's not my favorite but when I originally seen this online I liked it a lot less than I like it seeing it in person. It had some weird sizing issues like the head felt very small for the size of the armor and the body but it actually looks really good in person. So if you had issues with the first book in the series um, just the way that it looked just be aware that in person it's a lot better actually. And then the Wind Witch cover which is my favorite. Um, it has the air emblem on the side and it looks something like this. Oh, look at it, so gorgeous. I just, I love like the movement to it and it's just a great, a great showcase of Merrick and I just, I just love it so much. It's like got the new Brevna feel to it. Um, it's very orangey and earthy and just so great. Now the other thing in here is a map and it actually has a poster on one side so a poster of the three book covers and then it also has a map on this side and my map is signed map it's gorgeous i mean it's got like the sea foxes and the bats and the, just everything on there is so incredibly gorgeous so that is the new cover edition of the Witchland series. If you like the series, I highly recommend it. It's just a great collector's piece to add to your collection. Again, I have three full copies of everything now, so enjoying my life to its fullest. Except for Sight Witch, because they didn't redo the covers for Sight Witch, which if they had, I definitely would have got those as well. Um, and if they do in the future, I'll add it to my collection. Same with the UK covers. They haven't done a UK cover edition of Sight Witch either, which I would absolutely love because I love the UK covers so much. I'm just rolling with what is available to me at this current moment in time. So again, thank you to Suze. Thank you for Tor for doing these redo covers because they are amazing. And I know that that's not something that happens very often. So 
so I appreciate the team at Tour for taking the time to do these newly done covers that are just so amazingly wonderful. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future make sure you subscribe and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!